G'day. A lot of my subscribers have asked how do I get uh, the tabletop epoxy finish on most of my epoxy bowls. So this video is all about uh, showing you how that's done. You see here the bowl in its finished state and just having the uh, tabletop epoxy applied. So there's the device. I'm going to explain how it's all put together and uh, how it's made and where you can get the gear from. Now this is the 110 volt uh, barbecue rotisserie motor. Get these on Amazon, I don't know whether they're still in stock or not, but check them out on Amazon. Uh, the name is uh, A Promise. And this uh, rotisserie will turn whatever is put into that square pegged hole 8 RPM. Obviously a barbecue rotisserie, it would have been the uh, rotisserie rod just coming from there. Now the barbecue rotisserie motor is mounted in this ply, 3 quarter inch plywood box very simple situation where the box is got a French cleat on the back so that's mounted on the wall. The uh, square rotisserie bar is uh, welded to the bottom of this uh, one inch steel bar. Uh, this flange, just a, a common water pipe flange, is welded onto that to stop it from coming out of the uh, face plate here. So this piece of uh, one inch pipe with the uh, flange on the rear and if you can look very you can see there's a, a, uh, a solid spike which gives you the centre on the back of the bowl that's going to be rotated with uh, the, the uh, tabletop epoxy. Draw a few holes in there so you can uh, connect that to generally what would be a foot on the bottom of the bowl. The one inch pipe has a screw. The rotisserie motor um, simply has the one inch pipe slid onto its shaft. Um, on this end of that shaft is your bowl that's mounted. And you simply have a little uh, screw to tighten that on the rod so when it's turned on it holds fast and this will turn up to quite a weight. I've had a 10 15 pound bowl on this rotating at 8 pm for 24 hours while the tabletop epoxy cures. That's it for this short video so you should be able to make your own tabletop epoxy applicator. Thanks for all those guys that uh, asked to see this being done. Till next time. Cheers.